Wow. Isn't that beautiful? It's Miss Murphy. And that's a real authentic United States Air Force bomber that we have right here in the Valley of the Sun with the commemorative Air Force. And the commemorative Air Force is stationed right here at Falcon Field in Mesa. You know how you get a chance to meet Miss Murphy and all the rest of the planes here? You make friends with my new friend, Jeff, who's gonna take you on the rest of the commemorative Air Force tour. Jeff, they're all yours. Thank you very much. Well, this is an actual replica of a World War I aircraft. And we don't have any original World War I aircraft because most of them are gone at this point. But this was a Newport 28. Uh, it was flown by a variety of different countries. One of our more famous aviators, Eddie Rickenbacker, flew this type of aircraft. Eddie Rickenbacker was the ace of aces during World War I. He received the Medal of Honor and many other decorations. And we have this aircraft kind of as a memorial to Eddie Rickenbacker. This is the UH-1 Huey helicopter, synonymous with the war in Vietnam. It was used in many, many infantry uh, actions where they would transport the troops out to a fire base, out to an area where the enemy was located. But probably its most famous role, and for many people, was the medevac purposes. And the medevac pilots were some of the most fearless men that you'd ever find. This aircraft is called a TBM. It was used by the Navy during World War II. It would have flown off of an aircraft carrier, as you can see with the tail hook in the back. It typically would have had a crew of three. One thing that to remember about this aircraft, it was the type of aircraft that George Bush Sr. was shot down in the Pacific. I believe he was 19 years old. Most aircraft are pretty cramped inside, uh, you, even though on the outside it looks very large. This piece of rusty metal really has a significant historical interest. It's off the battleship Arizona, when the battleship Arizona was bombed by Japan in December of 1941. This was removed from the ship, and at some point we were able to get it from the Navy, uh, which I, we were very proud of. This is a relatively newly acquired piece of merchandise. This is our B-17 aircraft. It is a four-engine bomber, was used primarily in Europe. This particular aircraft, uh, there's about 50 actual airframes left now. Only about 10 of them fly, including this one, out of over 12,000 that were manufactured during World War II. It's a beautiful aircraft. It's nice and shiny, and uh, we're very proud of it. It's kind of our centerpiece. Now, come on, admit it, wasn't that exciting? And you can come out to Falcon Field and the commemorative Air Force Museum anytime you want to, at least as long as you make arrangements to begin with. Just give them a call, okay? And you get a chance to do a tour with friends and family, just like you had this time, courtesy of Jeff and all the rest of those volunteers who provide their time for folks like you and me. Thank you so much for joining us on The Daily Mix.